everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're doing our cash stuffing for the week of October through 3rd through the 9th. Um, I do it from the week past, but I guess it's kind of for the week four. But anywho, um, we're going to be doing our cash stuffing today. We're going to start with our wallet. You guys, oh God. I, I had a, let me put this in. I had a rough week. It was great financially as far as making the money, but it seemed like everybody knew I had money. Oh, so this is out my wallet. Um, I don't think I have a lot of change this week. I don't. I just got my money stone. So we have 20. Oh, y'all, I'm so discombobulated because I was so stressed this week. Um, see where all my money went this week um, when I do my next video, which will be um, my paycheck budget. All right. Stick these fives together. Okay. Are they still not facing the same way? Okay. As rough as the week was and as good as it was, I really didn't think I was going to have anything to stuff today, but I'm just determined to basically pay myself at the end of the week because if I keep going into stuff, I'm just not going to have it. Oh, and that's another thing. I did have to unstuff um, some things this week to pay bills, so I'm probably just putting it back, but here we are. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have a 108, $108. So, <clears throat> yeah, I had to dig into my envelope, y'all. I had to go to my emergency fund this week. I was heartbroken, but I had un a lot of unexpected bills, and they just needed to be done and, and paid. And they were coming out on the days when I had some of it, not all of it, were days that I didn't have any of it. So, <sighs> yep, <clears throat> that's it. Again, we're not stuffing this wallet. I need to get back to stuffing it, but right now, it's just not important. So, let's get out my cash envelope breakdown. So, what I did, let me show you guys. So, this is what we stuffed last week. Um, this was our balance. Uh, we had... A total of 336 out of all of the envelopes that I um, stuffed. And then I put it on this week at first, but then I realized I was supposed to put it on this week. So $270 was out. So that's what this section is for, uh, money out. So I took $270 out and I wrote for unexpected bills, but I also have it here. So it really doesn't need to go in here because it's not coming out of this money. So that was my mistake. So next week, if I have to take anything out, it will be on this one. <clears throat> okay. Let me just move all that to the side. And, and this is how I calculated. I just went up and I wrote in each envelope, you'll see where I took money out and how much. And so that's how I came up with my total of 270. And so we're just gonna move that to the side. I don't think I need my calculator. I don't think so. All right, let's start with our high priority. I normally start with, let me show you. I start with this uh, binder here. I took $3 out of debt. I didn't take anything out of my one and five. So one and five gets five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And right now I'm not counting this. I'm trying to hold on to this until hopefully the end of the year or Christmas. So, all right. Nothing in Christmas taxes. All that's getting skipped. We're going straight to the emergency fund. And emergency fund is getting 50, 20, 40, 50. So <clears throat> we're going to build that back up. So I ended up at first I took 100. Then I took 20. Then I took another 20 because I was still you know, slack after I taken out of every other envelope, I was still slack. Y'all, you'll wait till I do my budget. You'll see where all my money went. And I still made pretty good at the salon, but it was just crazy. So now emergency fund has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So we have 90. I don't even want to look at what I had in there last week because I think I was only $20 away from having $200, but 
it's all good. It's, it's just all good. So I had a lot of unexpected things to pay, and I'm just... I broke down crying today because <laughs> my car note came out today. It was supposed to come out to Tuesday, but Monday is a holiday, so... And I didn't know. <clears throat> and something told me last night, like, to take my booth right out. Luckily, I made it, but... Y'all, I was so destroyed. Okay, business supplies is getting $5. I didn't touch business supplies because I'm like, no, it's not a whole lot in there. And I'm really working on something for y'all. So I need to build this up. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now business supplies have $18. Because it wouldn't have made a difference, like a really big difference. So... So good. All right. Next up is Gerald, which is my husband. And my goal has been to give him like $50 a week. But since I had to take out of my emergency fund, <clears throat> excuse me, this week, he's going to get um, 35 I put 30 but it's going to be actually 35 because I forgot about the five extra dollars that was in my wallet. So now Gerald has 35 in his envelope. And my goal is really 50 a week and then I would have had it and more and the most I can contribute to this I would like to do a hundred dollars a week but for now we're trying to focus on 50 and then at the end of the month I want to be able to hand it to him to help with um, some bills so we have 35 in his account because I've just like I said I had to put him in there booth rent gets five I did take five out of booth rent so putting that back pretty much. So booth rent has five. Y'all, they ran my pressure up so bad this morning. Like I literally right now have a headache and I'm gonna take me something after I finish this because when I tell you I had plans for that money and I need to get an oil change, so. And then I had to take it from a week ahead. I had to take from planning, all the planning is gone. Just gone, gone. I was so upset, but I, you know, I, and I was too rushed to do a video on it, so, of unstuffing, so they get five, so, a week ahead has five now, so it is what it is, and the last one will be birthdays, and I wasn't going to stuff birthdays, but, and I took eight from here, but my husband's birthday is next, my daughter's is after his, like, a couple days after his, and then my mother's, so, I'm just taking these three dollars to try to put back some of the money that I took from there but yeah I'm gonna tell y'all when I tell you I was like destroyed so I'm trying to get my mental together so I just don't let it take me down because uh you know I was explaining to my husband you know he's like what's wrong and I was just like I've been working so hard to save and to get ahead and like everything just came out this week like i felt like i pretty much worked for nothing this week and then i made extra money this week but i wasn't trying to complain because i was thankful that i had it but <clears throat> i just worked really hard and then just have to give it all the way to bills so anywho i'm gonna pull out the white calculator today and let's add up Everything is just falling everywhere. Let's just add up what we have here. So we got ninety dollars here. I never do that. Okay. So we have $66 here. And then I'm going to add up, let's see, that's 40, 45, 50, 45, 45, 50, $53. And I just want to make sure that my math is mathing. So 53 and 55 should. Yeah, 108. Okay, that should be correct. I put 103, but it should be 108 because I forgot the five. So money in was $108. 
if you're new to my channel, I make this envelope breakdown sheet and we went over how to use it in my last video. I'll try to remember to post it above, but if not, I'll go over it real quickly. These are the envelopes that I'm stuffing. This is your high priority. This is my low priority. You can just use it for whatever, whatever you want. And then you have cash envelopes down here. I'm presently not using cash envelopes. And then you can list your totals through here. And then this is our money tracker here, and it's our money in, and where it's coming from. And for me, it is from here. And then uh, money out, and that's the money that I took out of the envelopes. So that's what you're using the money out for, like at the end of the week or what have you, or before the next time that you stuff your envelopes. This is the money that you've taken away from here. And then um, here's my sinking funds total all together is what did i say oh we gotta start over so 90 plus 66 so we now have 156 dollars in those envelopes we're not doing cash envelopes and so that's that it's real simple to use like there are other ones and i'm still thinking of making one where you break down how much you're putting in one and i have that one um that i had made for myself but um, this one I figured is just really kind of straight to the point. And one day I'll show y'all how I go about doing this. Um, there's a whole process before I film this video. So maybe I'll show you that process. Oh, wrong way. Here it goes. Because I like to keep them in the week order. And then that's all that we have for today, you guys. So we basically stuffed 156 Well, excuse me. <clears throat> we stuffed $108. And then after stuffing that, we have a total of $156 in just these envelopes here. So if you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you did, I hope that you will come back for more content from myself. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.